MGF Custom Slash Reviews. What's going on guys, it's Michael MGF, and today I am proud to say that I am continuing my series of custom LEGO Minecraft Micro World minifigures. I got 250 or so comments requesting me to make more, so how can I turn you guys down? So, what we've got today is the big slime, a sheep, and a pig. And when I say big slime, I mean, you know, the biggest form that the slime comes in. It's not the, you know, the miniature variation. And uh, it is actually to scale with Steve, which is pretty awesome. And uh, I will give you a look at what parts each of these micro mobs consist of after I show you each one. If you saw the previous video, that's the style I'll be doing this in. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get a closer look, even though these are extremely simple. <laughs> so we'll begin with the slime. And uh, once again, to clarify, this is the big version of the slime, not the little ones that it disperses if you kill it. But anyway, um, this one is rather simple, just like all these micro mobs are. But basically what this one is made up of is just a few bright green translucent bright green bricks and uh that's pretty much it i mean there's really not much to them other than the fact that i chose these bricks because they are translucent and pretty much the best color you're going to get in terms of making the slime in lego and i'm really happy with the way this turned out because it looks just like the slime and the eyes that i painted on it really top it off and i'm really fond of the way this one came out and to give you an idea of how uh, he's built I basically have the two 1x2 tiles on top, and those basically connect these two 1x2 bricks, and that's pretty much how I made the uh, slime. Really, that's it. <laughs> I'm so used to going over such uh, more detailed figures, but really, it's pretty easy to explain these guys. So here is the slime exploded. As you can see, I used two 1x2 bright green bricks and two 1x2 bright green tiles. So... That's pretty much it, and of course I painted on my own details to rep rep bleh, represent his face. <laughs> so for the second micro mob in this showcase, we'll go with the pig, and the pig is easily one of the most definitive mo mobs in Minecraft, as he, you know, the pigs have been around forever. But um, anyway, as you can see, this one is pretty simple, and uh, the design of it is pretty much almost just like the sheep, but I'll go further into that once I actually go over the sheep. But anyway, the design this one is made up of is fairly simple, as in you have two one by one pink bricks, and one of them has a stud on the front, so I can attach the one by one pink tile, and uh, on that tile I have painted on his eyes and nose, and then his uh, feet, I decided to go with a brown 1x2. And other than that, that's really it for the micro version of the pig. There's not much else to it. And, uh, you know, that's really it. <laughs> and the pieces I used to make this little oinker. Oinker. Eh, works. <laughs> so for the third and final micro mob of this video, we have the sheep. And the sheep's design is extremely similar to the pig, as it has the same general concept with the two one by one bricks, but this time obviously they are in, in white. And as you can see, the brick I used for this one is a little bit different than the one I used for the pig, but uh, I'll give you a look at what that brick is in just a second. His feet, I decided to go with a tan one by two because I thought that was the most appropriate color. And then as you can see, his face is a one, <laughs> one by one white tile. Uh, so many one by ones and one by twos and so much buys. Anyway, his face is painted on. I painted on pretty much everything you can see there with his mouth, eyes, and flesh color, and that's really it. Uh, gosh, I'm so used to going over more detail. <laughs> Jeez. Now, the sheep is a little bit different from the pig design, but it keeps the same general concept. So that is about it for the second installment to my custom LEGO Minecraft Micro Mob series of minifigures, as uh, this is definitely far from the last, as I really hope I will make all of the mobs in Minecraft, and uh, mobs continue to surface on Minecraft, like uh, for example, bats were just recently in implemented, and uh, it's gonna take a while to make them all, but I can't promise I'll make them all, but I'll definitely go for it. Um, so that is about it for this micro mob showcase guys and just to clarify one more time these if i were to sell them it would take an immense amount of time out of my everyday life and that's something i really can't sacrifice if i am to continue being who i am um 
So I'm just kind of here to, it's like a show and tell kind of basis, if you will. But anyway, that's about it for this video, guys. And I think I'll leave it at that. So, all right. Bye. Let's go to a place where everything is made of blocks. And the only limit is your... For a preview of what I'm working on next, be sure to check out my second channel, MGF Extra. And if you don't... <laughs>